What's up, YouTube? Been a long time. Been doing a lot of live streaming lately. Uh, haven't been doing too many videos. This is probably my first one in a pretty long time. But I definitely wanted to come out today and speak on uh, a couple things. Uh, the purpose of this video will talk about AMC, politics, and the Trump fanatical following and how it's, in my opinion, very closely related to the AMC fanatical following. But before I start talking about those matters, I uh, just want to let everybody know that uh, we will be having a somewhat minor hurricane coming through here. I've already kind of done what I needed to do to prepare the home um, for a potential Category 1, which is somewhere around 70, 75 miles per hour wind. I think it's something that we will get through pretty easily. I don't think the, there will be much cause for concern and we will probably be done with it in a couple days if not sooner. Uh, so that's kind of what I've been doing today. But to get back to what I was talking about, um, a couple things need to finally die. Number one, the AMC MOAS narrative needs to finally end, especially going into 2023. In my opinion, AMC needs to be played just like any other symbol where you kind of play it to make money. Uh, right now it is dirt cheap, it's pretty far down, and it is a playable, scalpable stock in my opinion, or something to maybe hold short term for short term gains. But if you're still looking for that MOAS and you keep on still reporting to YouTube for more uh, bullshit to blow up your ass regarding AMC and $100,000 price points and $500,000 price points, I think you really need to go seek help at this point if you still believe in that. Which also brings me to the Trump fanatical following. Um, look, folks, the Trump fanatical following is getting you nowhere, okay? Most of the country does not want to ride that boat with you. And bringing back a 76-year-old president who just does not know how to, in my opinion, speak to a, the country. Doesn't know how to speak to the country. And uh, you're not going to get people on board with that candidate. Um, the, the candidate that you really need to push if the Republicans really want to take control of this whole ship is Ron DeSantis. Ron DeSantis is young, he's energetic, he's qualified, he's got ridiculous credentials, uh, an extreme student uh, have, having gone to some of the top schools in the country, and that's the guy that will help you bring along some of the people in this country that are not going to vote for Donald Trump. So, having said all that, there's two things in my opinion, just like they said in the uh, most recent Star Wars. The Jedi must end. And in my opinion, the AMC narrative needs to end and the Trump fanatical following needs to end. Both of which are social media followings, in my opinion. Both of which, in my opinion, are infections in social media to influence you to potentially... Uh, vote a certain way or buy a particular stock. They haven't worked out and right now today you're finding out in the midterms that Trump is not helping the Republicans' cause. For me personally, I'm not voting for anybody anymore who is 70 years and older. I do not want a president who will potentially be 78 years old by the end of his two terms, okay? For me, I'm looking for, for a candidate between 40, 50, eh, maybe even 60 years old. But I'm, I've already had enough with our current president who is way too old and just does not have the capacity, the mental capacity to govern and run an entire country. And I know for a fact that bringing back a crazed out of his mind other old man, because it's just the polar opposite. You've got one old and decrepit old man who doesn't even know where he's at anymore and then you've got the uh, easily agitated angry older gentleman because as we get older there's two ways we go it's either one we just revert back to little babies and we want ice cream and we want to play like kids and we want to play games and we like sweets or you get really angry and agitated that you're old and decrepit and you're losing it. And we don't need that as a country. You're not going to bring along anybody uh, with you for Donald Trump if they're not Republicans. 
The candidate that you need to be pushing is Ron DeSantis. This country needs Ron DeSantis. This should not even be a race between Trump and DeSantis. Trump should not even run, in my opinion. Ron DeSantis should run, and he would win, in my opinion. I actually think he beats Trump one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. So as you can see today, that uh, whole Trump fanatical following just didn't work out. His endorsements have not really been panning out. Dr. Oz, come on, man. Dr. fucking Oz. Dr. fucking Oz. You could have put a monkey up against, uh, I don't even know what the other Democrat's name is, and you put a, probably would have won, but you put out Dr. fucking Oz. That should tell you everything. That's Trump's boy, okay? So the country is speaking to you, and you can't possibly be saying there's cheating all the time because there's no cheating when you win in certain states. There's only cheating in the ones you don't win. So can't get down to the bottom of that anyhow. They're not going to allow us to see any of that stuff, just like they're not going to allow us to see how they screw us in the stock market. So we need to become a little bit more realistic with our stock plays, and our political choices if we are going to have a country going forward. I'll repeat it one last and final time before I end this video. Two things must end. The AMC narrative going to the moon and Donald Trump coming here to save this country. Donald Trump is the ultimate political clickbaiter. He's only worried about his brand and taking in more money. And that is the reason why he's been stringing your party along with the potential 2024 race. Because it's pretty simple. If you know you're going to run, you just say you're going to run. Because if not, then that just means that there's a chance that you're not going to run. And all you're really trying to do is line your pocket with campaigns and rallies and so on and so forth. And in my opinion, it's probably not going to get it done anyway. So Republicans, wake up. It's time for you guys to find a real candidate. Ron DeSantis is that choice. You will bring independents like myself along with you, and you will probably bring moderate Democrats along with you. But if you keep pushing Trump, all you're doing is assisting the country in moving further left because nobody really wants Trump. It's only you weirdos in middle America and very small populated states that are pushing for this. And really, Trump is just a social media narrative. And you know nothing about Trump. All you know is what social media pushes to you regarding Trump. Just like you really don't know anything about what's going on with AMC the stock, you only know what social media decides to tell you about AMC as a stock. So, John Wick Sniping is out. I hope you find this video useful. Peace.